Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and today's video is a short lesson why you shouldn't put dangly air fresheners on indicator stalks from first hand experience on my own van. I've had the van nearly 4 years and one of the first things I did was put an air freshener on the indicator stalk and since then it has seen numerous different air fresheners and only the other day I realised it stained the plastic casing around the steering column. Not the end of the world I hear you say, in fact if these air fresheners were to stay, nobody would notice. But that's beside the point, when we're detailing or valeting customers cars, we cannot let this happen. Worst case scenario, when you have to replace an entire steering column casing, this will affect liability insurance, customer relations and your own pocket. With the air fresheners removed, we can see several areas that have become stained. My first attempt for cleaning was starting with the least strength chemical, Meguiar's APC at 10 to 1, a detailing brush followed with wiping clean and dry using a general purpose microfiber cloth. After my first attempt, I noticed very little improvement, so I upped the dilution to 4 to 1 and continued to use the detailing brush to clean the area for 2 or 3 times. Wiped clean and dry, there are still stubborn marks left over. Time to up the ante to level 3, a magic sponge. These offer more abrasion than a brush or microfiber cloth. So using Meguiar's APC at 4 to 1, applying the product to the magic sponge, then working over all affected areas thoroughly. Magic sponges linked in the description, they have their place when it comes to stubborn interior marks. After the first attempt, there were still signs of marking, so again, using the magic sponge, although with a little more pressure this time, continue to work over the affected areas. My last bit attempt before trying to cover it up using an interior dressing was to try G3 scratch remover paste. It's quite a gritty paste, so I was hoping this and a microfiber cloth would remove the last few marks. However it didn't, so I cleaned the area with APC to remove any polished residue. I have now given up attempts because it seems the air fresheners have stained the plastic. The large blob on the lower right is actually a bump on the plastic. I'm pretty certain the air fresheners have eaten and discoloured parts of the plastic casing. My last effort to cover them up was to apply two coats of auto finesse dressel, which did help. Once again. Yeah. 
I've had a brief search on the internet about the legalities behind objects dangling from rear view mirrors and whilst there isn't a definitive law in the UK, it is deemed dangerous to have any object potentially obscuring your front view vision with magic trees being the number one offender in a not so recent AA survey. Conducted in 2011, in New York, America it is actually illegal, however this law is rarely enforced. So where should us detailers put our magic trees and auto finesse naked women. Well mine are staying on the indicator stalk so I can cover up the mess they've already caused. I guess one option would be to put a transparent sticker or protective film under the fresheners to prevent them from staining. Alternatively, they can be hung freely from the grab handles by the rear windows. Thank you for tuning in for what has been an interesting topic. Please like and subscribe and I will hopefully catch you in the next one.